hello everyone welcome again and uh, today i'm going to show you another demonstration of a spring boot application so from technical side it's using spring boot on the jsp for the front end html css jstl and to it's following mbc architecture it's a maven application and uh, i'm going to run this application and will show you how the, the features and functionalities are working over there this is courier management so in order to run the application what you need to do just open the first package open this is courier management application dot java file that is your runner file right click on this file go to run as then it has a java application you will see the server will start in a while that's in a process to store the information and manage the backend of the application the database it's using as a database mysql here is the database as a mysql workbench so we have multiple tables into the database we have a branch branch stop cost courier and user tables to view the data of any in any table just right click on the table select the first option you will be able to see the option over there the data there are three types of roles in this application the admin role a staff role and user role three types of users are there so you can log in by three types of user perform different operation over there we'll see one by one first we will log in for the admin and then other users here are the credential for the user different users into the database now if I back to my Eclipse and you can see it's running on 5000 the port number is 5000 and the context is uh, courier management so I'm going to create a URL on my Chrome browser and going to run this application so it says localhost oh no I don't know it need this localhost 5000 and courier management so this is your URL where you will find the URL after running the server you will get this URL under this resource and application property file. We'll create a comment out URL here so you can directly copy this URL. Here also we have database configuration. So this is about the courier management. So let's move to the front end and things how the things are looking over there. So this is the this is our home page. And after home page, we have two options: uh, registration as a new user or login. If <clears throat> will first log in as an admin and check that use for features and functionality for the admin then we'll move to the stop then we'll log in as a user so when i enter the username password for the admin and i move here so uh, and we have different option for the admin so admin can add the branch so admin need to fill up some details um, to save the time i'm going to enter some dummy data over there you can also enter a dummy data so the state zip code and it should be six digit i guess the country name the contact number should be a valid contact number so i just enter these numbers so the branch address is this and the contact number is this so when i click to the save button it's a store the information and now it's displaying in the in, in here and as a record full if i want to delete this record uh, i can click on this checkbox and hit the delete button it will delete my record so i will show you that uh, an example how it's working so let's add it first and then we'll delete it so i want to update the address i'm going to add some x star over there and if you see the branch list now you can see that data is edited now if i want to delete it i can delete it quickly so just click on the delete button let's delete any other branch here <coughs> delete the same one so delete it successfully now if i view my branch list it will not display to me under the update price section uh, we can change the price so currently the price of the courier service is uh, less than 100 kg it will be 2 rupees and greater than uh, sorry uh, okay uh, it will be less than 100 uh, kg it will be 2 rupees greater than 100 kg it will be 5 rupees so we can update it let's suppose i want to keep it like 50 and uh, let's keep it 150 i just save the data if i view the pricing now it's showing 50 and 150 okay here i can add a staff member in case of new member i can add the detail here so i just need to enter a valid email address so i just add the gmail.com here the phone number the valid phone number chain and the password gender you need to select the date of birth and the branch so here all the uh, branch available into the database are displaying here so i can select a specific branch let's suppose i want to assign this branch to this member abc mumbai maharashtra when i save it's saying uh, invalid number it means the number is correct not correct so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten it's, 
it needs two ten digit number over there that should be start from uh, seven eight and nine so <clears throat> stuff is added successfully now same uh, we can this is our new stuff if you want we can edit the stuff to if staff detail and if you want uh, we can delete the staff from here okay so let's suppose I want to delete this one so it's deleted now view couriers here under the view carrier section I can uh, see the list of couriers that is coming from the customer side I can check the status by clicking on this tracking number when I click on this it will redirect me and will show the status and all the tracking numbers and all the details about the courier <clears throat> Uh, that is added by the customer side also we have option to search any courier by its uh, tracking number so when i enter that tracking number i hit the search it's filtered the data i can select the uh, data according to the status as well so it's filtering like this as well and here we have add stuff let's suppose this is a new order and you want to add a stuff that's going to deliver the product courier so i can add a sign and here i can uh, what is the weight and all so i can add the um, assign staff on which staff you want to currently in the staff list we have only one record so it's showing only demo staff and if you want to, if we add the multiple it will display multiple so we can assign it and save it so this it from the admin side also have admin uh, my profile option uh, change password and log out now let's log in as a staff and check what staff can do over there so here on the staff side we have uh, uh, let's log in quickly over there so staff can log in and staff can view the courier who is assigned to that user so this user assigned this uh, these uh, <clears throat> couriers and staff can track the number staff can search the number like it can filter out the courier list also uh, like staff can update the status so here's the status it can be ready to pick or some uh, like staff can update the status of any 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 courier service so it's now it's taking uh, ready to pick now let's quickly log in uh, register as a new user and log in with a with that user so you will see what user can do over there so we can register as a user from here uh, we just need to click on the register and need to fill up valid detail i think it's 10 yeah that's correct select it mail date of birth okay that's it i just save it <clears throat> user registered successfully now if i refresh my user table i will see the new record over there that's with this user detail so i'm going to log in with this user and let's see what this user can do over there after login so when i log in as a user uh, what i can see i can add my pickup like i can check the first thing i can check the price and then i can add the courier so let's suppose i want to add a courier so enter the sender name so i'll just enter the sender name sender address enter sender number okay we need a contact number i guess receiver number it should be enter receiver address enter receiver okay there will be a name oh sorry there will be a name and there will be a number select branch so i just select the branch and wait let's suppose 150 five price will be high now here i need to enter the card detail for the payment the expiry things and let's say i just say to slash 25 cvv number the total price of 160 kg actually we can update it and it's 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 also coming by default i guess it's calculating per kg that price is that this 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 price is according to the per per kg per kg 150 rupees or 50 rupees so according to that it's calculating the total price and now i can see that i track tracking track uh, i can track my uh, courier from here so it's added to the career when user staff and other users will be updated the status will be updated here automatically so that's it all about the courier management for the user side we have my profile change password logout about this feature that is the common feature and <clears throat> so it's all about the demonstration of uh, uh, 
career management so in case you have you are going to take this project or buy this project from code one we will do the setup at your machine and after that you need to follow this demo and to operate how the things are working over there it will help you to operate the application and uh, thank you if you want this source code you can connect us over the mail skype or whatsapp and also in, in the in, in the description of this video you will get the link so from that link you can check the other demos and uh, information about the application and you can directly buy it from there and after buy you can download it and in case you face any issue you can connect, can connect us over the whatsapp so we can help you to set up the application thank you